This is a 2015 Mazda 5 minivan. The problem this car is having is the brake pedal has become very soft. And no matter how much we try to pump it up, it does not stiffen up. We checked all around the car, all four wheels, for leaks in the brake system and we can't find any. We suspect that this unit here is bad and that's the reason I'm replacing it. And we're looking down the front here at the ABS unit. It's right in the corner in front of the driver. So to get to the ABS unit, I've had to remove the cover for the air box, and I had to remove the battery and the battery box with the ECU. And with all that out of the way, I can finally reach the ABS that I want to replace, but there is absolutely no way that I can loosen those fittings on the ABS, even using the proper tools like this because there's just not enough room so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the ABS with all of the hydraulic lines that are attached so I've unfastened these two hydraulic lines from the master cylinder and I've plugged the master cylinder so all the fluid does not leak out and then down here I've uh, loosened up the lines that connect to this, what I think is a proportioning valve. Let me get some light here for you to see. So that does look more or less like a proportioning valve, or it could be just a junction. I don't know what exactly it is. There is no listing for this part in the Mazda parts catalog, so honestly, I don't know what it is. And then there's one more brake line that goes down there. It goes to the front left brake directly from the ABS. So this brake line I've disconnected down here in the wheel well. So now the entire ABS with all of its attached hydraulic lines should come right out. Let's see if it does. And here it is, complete with the hydraulic lines. All it took was a little bit of wiggling. And it all came out. And now I can, out here, I have enough room, working room, so I can disconnect these lines from the ABS. So the reason I'm doing this is I got this replacement unit from a junkyard. I suspect that this unit here is bad and that's the reason I'm replacing it. I have transferred all the tubes to the new ABS unit. I've installed it. I've connected it everywhere it needs to be connected. Now I'm gonna use this pressure bleeder to run brake fluid through all four corners. And this is the only real practical way to get this done in any kind of reasonable time frame. So all I do is uh, I build up the pressure in this container and it is connected to my reservoir. It has a specific cap that screws on the Mazda cap and it also works for some Fords and other vehicles. And when I pressurize it by pumping it up you're just going to push through a brake fluid all the way through the system and take any air that's in there out with it. I went around twice opening the bleeder screws until I was sure no more air was coming out. And now I have a hard pedal. Before replacing the ABS I had a spongy pedal even with the car off that went all the way down to the floor and did not pump up and now it's hard and stays hard. This is the unit that I replaced and I can't tell you what's wrong with it, what's causing it to give spongy brakes. Um, we'll probably never know. My research tells me that this is a not unusual issue with these vehicles. So if you have this problem you have this possible course of action that I just did, which is replacing the entire ABS unit. And this solves your spongy brake pedal problem.
everything is reattached and reconnected just like the day it came from the factory and you would never in your life know that there's an ABS unit that's been replaced down underneath there. But now we're going to answer the burning question. Does this ABS unit need to be reprogrammed to the vehicle? I'm in the car now. I am checking it with the scan tool. And I am looking at the programmable module installation. So this is programming you would have to do when you install a module. I have the PCM power control module. I have the BCM body control module. I have the um, cluster, integrated cluster module. I have the EPS, electronic power steering, electric power steering. And I have the BCM, which is the body control module. And there is no listing for the ABS. So hip hip hooray, no need to program the ABS on this car. And just to confirm, I have started up the car. It is running. It is not signaling any error from the ABS. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.